good morning, welcome, or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting me here, hello, welcome. My name is Sierra, and I'm an American who lives in the UK, and I share videos of my family's life or whatever it is I'm interested in the days that I sit down to film. As you guys can tell in the title of today's video, I'm doing another one of my Lush Kitchen subscription box unboxings, which is very exciting. Originally, when Lush Kitchen was doing these subscription boxes, we as a community got to vote on the items that would be in the box, and it was a little bit of a surprise. I'm not sure why, but they've now changed it to where they give you a preview of what the products are going to be every month, and then if you want to buy the box, then you can buy it, and if not, you can skip it. I usually look at the box over this month I completely forgot because I was distracted with a whole bunch of life stuff going on so I actually have no idea what's inside of this box but I do know according to the first insert it says back for a good time so I'm hoping it's either going to be a lot of vintage products or products that we haven't had in the kitchen for quite some time so first thing we have for this month's unboxing appears to be oh it's a shower gel and oh it's a tiny one this time it is the sonic death monkey shower gel Sonic Duck Monkey came out in the subscription box, I think, a little less than a year ago. I could be a liar. I'm sorry if I did, but Sonic Death Monkey is one of my favorite shower gels. Before I got it in my other subscription box, I had never had it before, and so um, I was really excited about that. But it is like chocolate coffee scented shower gel, and it is amazing. As you can see here, it has like a nice brown color, like chocolate coffee, and it just smells delicious. So... I actually used a shower gel this morning in my shower, so I already know what it smells like, but I'm going to smell it on camera for you guys for dramatic effect. And also just because it's good. And it smells, like I can still smell it on myself, but it smells good in the bottle too. So, oh my gosh, it's just so good. Although I think this one smells a little bit different. I wonder if this one smells different because this one is more like fresh, if that makes sense. So if chocolate coffee in a shower gel doesn't sound like quite a good enough description for you, I'm going to read the ingredients just so you guys know officially what's in it for the scent. So as I said, it is coffee and cocoa powder and hibiscus flour, as well as lime juice, sweet wild orange oil, tangerine oil, vanilla absolute, and organic hemp oil. So maybe the organic hemp oil makes it smell different. I'm pretty sure they didn't change the recipe. It just, I don't know, smells different and I really like it still, but yeah. Interesting. Moving on to the next product in the box appears to be a face mask and it is the Birth of Venus face mask, but it's not just any face mask, it's a jelly face mask, which is really exciting. This is one of those vintage -y products in the box that I actually remember launching. I think it came out, I know it was less than five years ago because it came out when I was living in Japan and I got some from the Harajuku store before it turned into the bath bomb store that it is now, or at least it was when I was still living in Japan. Um, but the Birth of Gina Venus Jelly Face Mask is a really florally, almost sea-y inspired scent. At least that's what it smells like to me, assuming it's the same. So let's give it a little smell. Yeah, there's definitely, I think, something florally in there. I'm pretty sure that it's rose, but I could be a liar. And I apologize in advance. And it also has like a lovely like seawater scent. To be honest with you, the smell really reminds me of like an ocean garden, if that even makes sense. But anyways, before I read the ingredients, the easiest way to use these is just like you would any other face mask. You just scoop it out and then massage it in between your fingers and put it on your face. The jelly ones you usually leave on between five and ten minutes. But of course you could leave it on a little bit longer. But according to the ingredients of the Birth of Venus jelly face mask, it is scented with rose petal infusion, fresh seawater, told you, lavender absolute, chamomile blue oil, olibanum oil, myrrh resinoid, carrageenan extract, and that's it for the smell. So very florally, very fresh. Now that it's getting to be closer to summer and spring, I think this face mask is like the epitome of what spring should be in a smell. Does that make sense? Because it's so like frolly and fresh, but I'm mm, so excited about this. Moving on, the next item in the box is the Phoenix Rising Bath Bomb, which looks like this, and it is, as you can see, beautiful. This bath bomb is one of those bath bombs that was around before I was a Lushy. So the first time I tried it actually was a kitchen launch, probably in like 20... 17 maybe but I remember loving it and I can smell it from here and it's like incredible so let's give it official smell oh my gosh this is amazing how have I been surviving with the phoenix rising bath bomb this one and the yoga mom have like probably my favorite earthy like calming bath bombs if that makes sense which they don't make yoga bomb anymore which is really sad but anyways phoenix rising bath bomb as I've already said is beautiful I think it makes your bath purple at least that's what from what I remember but again it's been probably five years since I've used it. Just one more sniff and I'm going to tell you guys officially what is on the ingredient list. Oh, oh my gosh. You guys, this is like amazing. I mean, how, what level of judgment would you guys give me if I actually just licked this right now? Okay, let's put this down before I do anything nasty and read the ingredient list. So according to the ingredient list, Phoenix Rising Bath Bomb is scented with organic cocoa butter, which gives it like this like warming, like 
really like a rich calming scent as long as well as being moisturizing which is amazing bergamot oil cassia oil which is like cinnamon jojoba oil cinnamon stick and fair trade shea butter so again now i remember why i love this one so much not only does it smell incredible it's really moisturizing and just like a genuinely nice experience and it also has a little cinnamon stick in there which if you're like me i love being in the bath but i get bored sometimes so you can like have a fiddle with it if you want whatever okay moving on to the next item in the box is a bubble bar and it is the french kiss bubble bar according to the list of items in here mine is a little bit deflated Although, actually, I might be a liar. Mine actually might be the original shape. I know that when I was a young Lushy, when I was using French Kiss, it was a lot taller and more of like a spirally cone shape and had a lavender piece sticking out of it. Um, this one doesn't. I'm suggesting it's either the original shape, although, as you guys can see, mine is like very um, melty and squishy because, unfortunately, it was raining this morning and my box got a bit soggy. But it smells like a French Kiss. I can smell it from here. As you can imagine, French Kiss is lavender scented and delicious. So let's give it a little smell. Ooh, that smells different than I remember. Actually, now that I think back on it, I have had actually a French Kiss from the Lush Kitchen before, which was the original French Kiss. It looked a little bit more like this. And then the newer, like revamped one was more lavendery and like had more of a strong scent. So I think this might actually technically be the older formula recipe, if that makes sense. But according to the ingredient list, it's obviously lots of lavender, um, as well as coconut oil, rosemary oil, thyme, lavender absolute, and has a lavender sprig. But mine doesn't have a lavender sprig. Oh, I found it. Here we go. Just kidding. Mine does have a lavender sprig, but I guess it fell out. Um, and shipping so there we go that's what it's supposed to look like actually it's a lot cuter now oh that smells so good actually i think this one's gonna be one of those ones i'm gonna have to use almost immediately because it is pretty squishy so i think we'll just put it up here and it's a lord of this rule for now and then i'll decide what to do with it later all right so now i have really purpley fingers that smell amazing which is great okay and there should be one more item in the box just have to have a look for it it is oh here we go it is a lip scrub and it is the popcorn lip scrub popcorn lip scrub tastes and smells almost exactly like you would expect um if you don't know how a lip scrub works it's basically sugar with a flavoring and different oils in it and it looks like this basically you just take some rub it on your lips it makes them all nice and gets all the yucky dead skin off which is great for spring and summer and things like that i have bath bomb all over my hands so i think i'm just gonna try to tip out a little bit of it onto my hand just to like give a little taste yeah smells like popcorn um if you've never tried the popcorn lip scrub it has almost the same scent as the i think it's the let the good times roll facial scrub if i'm wrong i'm sorry i'll cut this part out but again it's like sweet popcorn scent which is really great but that being said that's everything for the april box of 2024 definitely in love with everything inside my box i think my favorite is probably the phoenix rising bath bomb because hello it's the second my second favorite after yoga bomb but Oh, that smells so, so good. I am going to go and take a bath now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Happy spring. Bye.